It was uh, November 28, 2006. My youngest, Mateo, was uh, running a fever. So I remember getting to the hospital. We were sitting there waiting for them to take Mateo back to x-rays to make sure he didn't have uh, pneumonia or anything like that. She had told me that our oldest son, Javier, was at home because it was like 10 o'clock at night and his aunt, her sister, was watching him. And while we're sitting there waiting, a nurse walks into the room and she's like, are you two Javier's parents? She was like, well, he's here. I remember not thinking anything of it. I just thought maybe he woke up. Me and the nurse walked out of the room and as soon as the door shut behind me, she said, it's not looking good. His heart stopped and he's not breathing. She took me to the other room and the doctors and paramedics were doing CPR on him. I remember sitting there praying as hard as I thought I could for God to save him. Yeah, and then like around midnight, November 29th, they called it, he passed away. His passing sent me down a, a very, very dark place for a very long time. If God could take the one thing that I love the most. And then I didn't want to love anything else, including myself. I was afraid to show my other son love. I was just afraid that he was going to go. I was afraid that anybody I loved was gonna go. And I ended up finding my way out, you know? I found love again, not only for my family and my, my, my sons and myself, but just for life in general. I became a different person, different human. Uh, I love so hard, so hard. People that may look like me, people that have similar backgrounds, similar stories, who've gone through similar things, are not just some heartless people walking around here not caring about life or not having compassion or empathy. I think on the contrary, it's because we've been through all, that, all those things that we do have that. We do have so much compassion and so much love and so much empathy is because we know what the other side feels like. Yo, what's going on, beautiful people? I am Carlos Aviles. I am the writer, actor, and producer of the film Rainbow Sun. I wrote this film because I really wanted to showcase how multifaceted people that look like me are. In this business, a lot of people that look like me, we get typecast in playing bad guy roles, thug number one, thug number two. And with this film, I really want to showcase that people like me are so colorful and we have emotions and feelings and and we can be compassionate and empathetic and and understanding and accepting open-minded and educated i mean in this film i have natasha uh, a black woman very bold vibrant colorful so into life but she's battling with sickle cell anemia her son chris high school senior, top of his class, battling with his sexuality, wanting to come out to his family and not knowing how to do so. And then we have Javier, a heavily tattooed Latinx man played by me, battling with taking care of his wife who's holding on for her life, his son, his business. I mean, this is a story about compassion, love, and acceptance. I need you. In order for us to make this beautiful film, I need all of y'all to help with whatever you can, with a dollar, $25. If you can't donate money, then please share, repost, retweet, send it to all your friends, email it to all your friends. Whatever you can do will really help. But in order for us to give you a quality film, quality actors, quality sound, quality editing, we need money. So please, please do what you can, help us out. Thank you for your support thus far. Peace.